Mr. Manning, you are in no condition to get out of bed. I gotta get out of here. Oh, believe me, I can't wait for that. You're wasting your breath talking to him. Oh, my God, it is so you to be just a royal pain in the you-know-what when somebody's trying to help you. Would you please get me out of here, Vicky? I'll stay with him, okay, if you want to take a break. Thanks. I could use one. My goodness, nice to know that a near, actually very, very, very near-death experience hasn't changed you one iota. Vicky, please. You're staying here until the doctors say you can go home. And which doctor is that? Truman? And what home? Home. You know, Blair, you, children, home. Blair. That's what she says she wants, right? Well, it is my mission in life to make sure that bitch doesn't get anything she wants ever again. So I guess we're not going to be going to the PTA meeting later. Ooh, thanks for coming. I'm hoping that this means you're finally going to tell me what's going on. I have no idea what you're even talking about. Blair, stop it. You're playing a very dangerous game. Dorian, I... He's going to be joining us. I thought you said we were going to be oh, alone. Shut up. Shut up yourself. Blair. Hi. Sensational as always. Thank you, dear. What was that all about? Well, I know how you feel about PDA, so I thought I would uh, take the opportunity while we still have it. Huh. Well, this evening might turn out a lot different than we thought. driving my car, I, I lost control. When was that? That was several days ago. Oh, no. 
Well, and you were awake for a little bit, oh, and all of a sudden you, oh you, you my got God. light again. What? Oh, my God, it's a rope. No, for what? Oh, for what? For Todd. Todd's fine. Todd's okay. They, they didn't execute him? No. I mean, you know, not technically. So you're not too late. There's still time to put Spencer Truman away. It's so very nice to see you, Dorian, especially since we hardly had a chance to speak before and had to run off so abruptly. Will you sit with us? We should just go. We're not leaving. Didn't see this coming, not at all. Dorian, Blair and I are so happy you agreed to join us. Oh, I'm sure you're thrilled. Well, it's just that I know you and I haven't always been in the best of terms. Oh, really? Really? You blackmail my fiancé into leaving me at the altar. I'm, I'm humiliated in front of the, the whole town. And, and you say uh, we haven't always been on the best of terms. That doesn't even begin to cover it. But now we have so much in common. We're both very concerned about David, and we both love and care about Blair so very, very much. You want to go over there and mix it up a little? Can't. Can't risk harassment, Sue. Let's just not let this ruin our night, okay? That's where you're wrong. I'm not going to let him bother me. Oh, God. What the hell's he doing out? I could use a very strong drink. Waitress! What a happy little gathering. Are we celebrating something? You know, Blair, when you got engaged to Todd again, I thought to myself, that's the biggest mistake she's ever made. Apparently, I was mistaken. Margaret Cochran. Live? All this time. An evil report. Faked. How? That's what everybody wants to know. The the local press, the network news, the ACLU. Huh. Feel stupid. <laughs> I was so sure that we had an airtight case. Oh. I, guilty, easy. Mm -hmm. I, I assumed the worst. And whoever set Manning up knew that I would do that because because I'm arrogant and green. Not you. Uh, um, hey. Start over. Okay? Don't assume. Well, that's what I did. The bodies, the medical examiner's report. I mean, that, that's where the whole setup started. Good. Not good? All the evidence that we have now leads to someone else. Who? Bo. He's had my back since I first got this job. I am not going to be the one to take him down. Exactly how your sister did that. When she loves you, she can scare you into doing anything she tells you to do. How is this happening? I mean, this guy killed a cop, covered it up for years, fled to Thailand and the day after his room. He... He's in a nightclub celebrating Will's justice. I, I, one judge would turn him loose. I'm going to find out what's going on. No, no. I just can't believe they let him loose. Obviously, he made bail, all right? So someone hooked him up. So we try to find that out without tipping anybody off. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Just be patient. What are you doing here, David? Doesn't everybody go clubbing after they've been arraigned on a murder charge? How did you get out? Are you aware of the concept of bail? Yes. They set bail for you. Otherwise, I'd be drinking tap water from a tin cup instead of double vodka on the rock with a twist of lime. 
So, Blair, the fact that Todd is innocent doesn't matter to you, does it? On top of that, you have persuaded Dorian to share a table with my brother, whom she hates. So what's up with that? We all understand how much stress you must be under. I am very happy to see you fighting the charges, by the way, but that doesn't give you the right to come in here and insult my Blair. I insulted her. I merely pointed out that she's sitting here with you. Instead of her unjustly accused, got the needle in the arm, father of her children. Was that an insult? David, don't. Or something else going on here. So that's what's important now? Revenge and payback? Works for me. You and Blair went through hell. You survived and no, 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 no. I went through hell. Me. All Blair did was turn her back on me. Tell my children I was a killer and then jump into bed with Spencer. I was there when they put that needle in your arm, you know. Yeah, so was I. But you didn't see Blair's face and I did. It was killing her. No, I don't think so. She thought I was a killer. She thought I killed Margaret and my own child. Well, that was after months and months of you lying to her. I'm not going back to that. Yes. You don't have to. It's finally all over. And you have a happy ending. And now you're just going to be stubborn and just not enjoy it? You obviously don't understand. I understand one thing. You are alive. My grandson, Duke, is not. He's dead. He will never hold a girl's hand or, or, or fall in love or raise a family. God, you have all of that. Most people would, would kill for a second chance. And you got it. And you're going to use it to pay back a woman who loves you? seem to keep tripping over my tongue tonight. What? I said something that upset Adriana earlier. Uh, again, I'm really sorry. I it's think. okay. It, it's me, really. Don't worry about it. Uh, what was that about? In the alley outside, I thought I was being followed. And I turned around, and it was Daryl. And he said something? That was later. We were watching the fight, and he came up to me, and he said Christian wasn't exactly floating like a butterfly. You're kidding. I wish. It really freaked me out, too. But now that I've had time to think, it's a boxing match. He was quoting Muhammad Ali. I was being paranoid. Right? I don't know. I'm sure it's all going to find out. Come on. Let's get out of here. Mm -hmm. My boy, way to go, champ. Thanks, but I don't think I could have done it if it weren't for this lady here. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to see that she has ringside seats from now on. Thank you. Hey, could you two do us the honor of uh, going out for a victory celebration? Uh, 
Chris and I have other plans. That's no problem. Hey, Tim, make it an early night, all right? Um, what victory celebration? What? You don't like to celebrate? What I like is to be asked. Ms. Layla, would you do me the honor of throwing back an alcoholic beverage or two to commemorate my boys beating the crap out of that other guy? That's not like it. You delivered Margaret's baby? Spencer forced me to. But you knew that she was alive. You didn't say anything. I kept thinking that Todd would get off, and, and when he didn't, I just, I... Why didn't you tell me about this? I wanted to. Yeah, but you understand, Todd could have died. You could have saved him. I know. I was driving there, Bo. I... I, well, he was strapped to a gurney. He was executed. It's, it's pure luck that John even showed up in the nick of time. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. But you were willing to let a man die just to keep the truth from me. I... I... Who are you? You know who I am. Bo, Spencer wanted to ruin you. He falsified the Emmy's reports on the body that was supposed to have been Margaret Cochran. He made it look like you were setting up Todd. I know all about that. You do? Yeah. Yeah, the report. It's in the DA's hands right now. And then there's some uh, attendant, some morgue attendant down there in Kentucky who says that I was down there trying to procure a couple of bodies so that I could then, you know, pass them off as Margaret and her fetus. Spencer must have something on him. That's how he operates. Is it? Bo, please, don't let him destroy you. Or it all will have been for nothing. Is there anything else that he has on you? Is there anything else I don't know about? No. But I have a lot on him. And I can prove it. Come on, Blair. Shouldn't you and Todd and the Rugrats be at home having a celebration of life or something? Who paid your bail, David? Excuse me? Your bail, capital offense, I'm sure it was mighty high. So who paid it? Well, I don't like to name names, but I had a pretty good idea who that was. It wasn't you? You? Would you put up that much money to get me out of jail? Well, you are my brother, David, and, and I've already been witness to one innocent man almost being put to death for something he didn't do. And look, I know you didn't kill that man. Well, thank you for your vote of confidence, Spencer. So you just happen to have a million dollars lying around to spend on me? Yeah. I mean, I moved some things around and sold off some property. That's no big deal. Could either of you ladies produce a tissue? I'm about to start crying. I mean, I just couldn't stand the idea of seeing my own flesh and blood rotting away in a jail cell. That's all. Keep your emotions in check, Spencer. You're borderline sincere. David, I've been looking out for you for such a very long time. I mean, I promised Father that I would take care of you. And I mean, I was so young, I didn't do a very good job of it. So maybe this is just my way of making it up to you. Well, you did get me out of jail, didn't you? Yeah. And if you'll let me, I'll help you stay out of jail. What do you say? Looks like the Truman brothers are making nice. From what I know, Truman's never lifted a hand to help his brother before, so you gotta ask yourself, why is he doing it now? Something tells me you're gonna find out. Yeah, why not? Hey, it's the lieutenant. You two know each other? Yeah, sure we do, right, John? Why are you being so quiet? Just wondering what it was like for you to fight your way to the ring and why you did it. Well, believe me, I was tempted to sit tight and let all this be over. Well, it could have been over. Couldn't hear my coach. I don't think I heard Vincent either. The only voice I heard was yours. <laughs> Yeah, well, you did what you wanted to do. You know, you would have gotten up without me. No, I don't think so. 
I think it was your voice. I think it was knowing what it took for you to get to me. That's what got me on my feet. Christian? All showered up and ready to go. You ready? Get ready to drive me home. Home? I, I thought you said we have plans. Oh, I just said that to avoid celebrating with Vincent. Oh. You don't mind, do you? No, 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 no. No, I shouldn't have said that. I, I know you, God, you just want a big fight. I'm sure you want to go out and celebrate. Evangeline. What? <laughs> I didn't want to hang out with Vincent. I want to be with you. Actually, I, um, I think I need your help with something. Tonight? Yeah, tonight. Unless you're tired. No. I can understand. No, no, if you're busy, it's okay. Really, Just... if you need my help, you know. I'm here for you. I'm really sorry you're so disappointed in me. I really am. But I was running for my life trying to avoid being put to death, and I wanted to see Blair one more time, and I saw her. I looked through the window. And washed her while she made it with Spencer. Must have been awful. Oh, yeah. So I decided right there, she and I were through. Oh. Well, I guess that was an easy decision, being the pillar of integrity you've always been. Right. Oh, come on, you! I have seen you through hundreds of stupid and self-destructive things, and I don't judge you because I'm not perfect. But self-righteous indignation from you? Come on. What are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Maybe you should give at least a passing thought to all the things you did to Blair to push her away. Maybe you are supposed to remember how long she stood by you and defended you. Maybe you are supposed to think about your children and not your ego. You know what? You've just gone back to being the old Todd, haven't you? Just angry and lashing out at people. And that's what everybody expects you to do. I cannot believe that's what you're going to do with your second chance. Come on. It's John McBain. Everybody knows who John McBain is in Landview. It's a small town. This is Layla. I know Layla. I know everybody here, Vincent. Like I said, it's a small town. So, are you going to introduce me to your friend, John? Don't play dumb, Vincent. You know damn well who I am. I wasn't playing dumb. I was just leaving things up to you. We know each other. He's the contact, the guy who led us to David. And really, there's no need to thank me. Yeah, no need at all. Just keep this between you and me, okay? Sounds like Daryl's not our guy. Bartender who was on duty the night of the tornado remembers Daryl being at the club all night. I'm so sick of this, Rex. Feeling scared of my own shadow. We're gonna get through this, okay? Sure. So how much money did you lose tonight? Enough. Good. Then I'll teach you to bet against the Vega family. Claudia rested will make it up to me. Unless... Uh, never mind. You're going to say, unless Bo stops me from working for her. You see, you are still mad. If I hadn't shot off my mouth about that hey, to hey, Bo, hey, then... hey, 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 hey. We're going to have our conflicts of interest. You and me, right? Doesn't mean we can't get along. True. Anyway, I think I figured out right here and now what to do when you get hot under the collar. What's that? Cool you off. Well, this is not making me feel cooler. Well, this way. You still haven't told me what I'm supposed to be helping you with. I need your help to paint something. 
Marcus, I can't help you with that. I couldn't paint when I could see. As always, Counselor, you are too damn literal. I need your help to paint this, because this painting is going to be for you. I know you have a lot of my stuff already, but I want to add to your collection. Well... Can be here? I appreciate that. I do, but... Chris, I won't be able to see it. Well, not now. But someday you will. So you'll be with me while I work on it. We'll talk about it. And you'll be part of it all through the process. How? Look, we've been through this before. You got too many rules in your head. Too much law. Right now, you have a blank canvas in front of you. Here. You see? Can you see it in your head? It's a blank canvas. Yeah, that's about all I can see. Well, we're going to change that. The color is ochre. <laughs> All right, ready? All right, what's the line? What? You just made a line. What does it look like? An arc. All right, so you can see it. You made it, and you can see it. So we'll keep working on it together, and you'll see it in your mind. And then when you can see it with your eyes, you'll remember this. And remember that we did this together. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for thinking like you do. Thank you for keeping my butt off that canvas. <laughs> okay. So a mutual work of art. What's mm. next? I think we'll move on from finger painting. What is it, Christian? What's wrong? Okay, the rule is the person who throws the other person in the pool does not get the only towel. Not true. Actually, the rule is the person who bets on the wrong boxer and then gets pushed into the pool has to go to the cabana and get more towels. If I wasn't so freaking cold, I'd stay to do get out with you. Uh, you would only lose. Spencer has to be stopped. He's done too much, and he, he's probably done more things that we don't even know about. Yeah, well, I agree with you there. I should have... Oh, I, I shouldn't have. I, sh I shouldn't have done a lot of things. I'm sorry. You were scared. Spencer wanted to ruin you. And you weren't just some convenient scapegoat to cover up what he was doing. You were his target. He hates you. He wants to hurt you. He enjoyed telling me how he had you cornered. Do you know why? He has something against you, against your whole family. And he's not through with the Buchanan's yet. The most important thing, David, is that you are not directly responsible for Thomas McMahon's death. Pages. You know, I can snap your neck right now and no one will even care, you know? Easy. You know that? And then I finally be able to sleep at night for the first time since that Christmas Eve when we left my father die in that alley. You heard a word that I've said? Just know that when I shook your hand just now, yeah. we said that we'd start over. And I meant it. It doesn't matter whether you did or not. I am going to. I'm not going to live like this anymore. I'm glad I could be of help. See, the thing is, I didn't ask for your help. I didn't need it. You didn't need my help. See, I led you to the man who offed your old man. And he's sitting over there drinking vodka on the rocks. Me personally, he would be rotten in jail. He may fail. You don't need to explain anything to this guy. This is fun. Maybe sometime the four of us can go miniature golfing. I'm sorry. You know, you hear small towns are really friendly. But are always those guys who think that they're not nasty, they're not a man. We'll talk later. No, we won't be talking again. You don't open your mouth to me. You don't open your mouth to her. You know something? 
I'm not a big fan of anyone telling me who I can or cannot see. Let's just go. No, no, this is just about over. See, you know, the real important thing is that Natalie and I have an understanding. And that would be? That Mr. Macho here, he's alive and well today because of and only because of me. Chris, what is it? What, what's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. I just realized I, I forgot to pick up some supplies this morning. But we'll we'll definitely finish this another night. Are you telling me the truth? No. Be careful. It just seems stupid to be working on a painting. You know, when I could be working on you. Uh, yeah, right. And maybe after such a big night, you're hurting. You're exhausted, you know? Maybe I should let you go to bed and, and just get a cab. No, 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 no. I mean, if you want to go, I can take you, but I would love for you to stay. Stay? Yeah. I like having you here. I like being here. But, Chris, I think you're probably tired. I should go. Evangeline. I'm so not tired. I always had the feeling that Spencer had it in for my family. Do you know why? I never know why Spencer does anything. But I do know that he never gives up. So please, just be careful. Do you trust me? I always have. Then I need you to do something. Anything. I need you to believe in me. I do. No, I mean really believe in me. I need you to believe that I am stronger than Spencer Truman, I'm smarter than Spencer Truman, and I will win. And you should believe that. Because that's the truth. That was my mistake, Bo. He was just, he was so driven. Well, I know what I've got to do now. And I'm going to take care of myself, I'm going to take care of my family, and I'm going to take care of you. And the problem is that on the day Bo was supposed to have procured these bodies, he took a personal leave day. And he went up to his cabin. And no witnesses can place him in Landview. You want to help Bo? You know I do. Get him out of this? Yeah, right. By the book. As for his badge. Bo? Hugh, I need you to meet me in my office. I got something for you. Duke is dead. He's gone forever, and now I feel like you are. Yes, you are. No. You don't understand something, Todd, and that is that I need you. I don't know, maybe all this has just been too much for you. I don't know. And now I feel like I'm kicking you when you're down, and I don't want to do that. But see, you have a chance to be happy, and you are deliberately choosing not to, and I cannot deal with that. Please. Thank you. Dorian is going to leave, so I'm going to walk to the car, okay? Dorian, thank you again so much for coming tonight, and please think about what I said. David, I know firsthand that being free on bail is not really free at all. You're in a very precarious position. Be careful about how you choose your friends. You'll be back, right? You know it. <laughs> She's right, you know. I need to be very careful. Careful not to buy into Dorian's head games, you mean. David, listen. Who's got your back on this? Who are you going to trust here? I'm your brother. I'm the one in your corner. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about me. 
As difficult as it is for me to say this, I gotta grow up. I shot a man. I killed a good father who had two sons. I lied, I ran, and I am guilty. That's precisely how I plan to plead. Come on, Vince, let's go. You wanna explain that to me, how you think you saved my life? Maybe nobody's ever told you this, but you've got this uncanny way of making people want to smash your face in, like our mutual friend George. But given to your finesse and your charm, there was about 30 guys who would do it for free. But thanks to me, George said, let bygones be bygones. Well, I'll tell you what you do. You, uh, you go back to your friend, George, and you undo the favor. I take care of myself. I don't need help from no one. Well, if you're so good at taking care of yourself, how come you had to send your girlfriend out to do your dirty work for you? He didn't. You know, Lieutenant, you should be really careful about letting Natalie run around Landview all by her lonesome. Because you might run into someone who really appreciates her. Like I do. <laughs> On the next One Life to Live. There's something about it that still doesn't add up. Are you really willing to risk everything over a crisis of conscience? Stop talking, we're gonna kiss again, and if we kiss again, we'll. We're gonna make love? 